Hi, I'm Jane Turner, head of the Reichs Printing Cabinet, the Reichs Museum's collection of drawings, prints, and photographs. I'm coming to you today from my garden, along with my border terrier, Flora. It's easy to forget on a day like today, when the sun is shining, the birds are singing, of the horrors unfolding in the rest of the world. And to tell you the truth, we mustn't forget. We must think above all of the bravery of the men and women of the health services and those who are battling illness and who've lost loved ones. In the meantime, however, I hope to cheer you up with a couple of fun stories, a couple of nature's little jokes. Some of you may have seen, last summer, I made a video for YouTube, typed in Jane's Addiction, Reichs Museum. It concerns a remarkable drawing, one of 750 watercolors, made at the end of the 16th century and the beginning of the 7th for Emperor Rudolf II of Prague. He commissioned his personal physician, Anselm's de Boat, to record the entire natural history world around him. All the birds, all the animals, all the flowers. This one, we thought, however, might just be a bit of artistic license, imagination of the artist. It has little skulls. Further research, however, showed that these skulls were simply the seed pods of the snapdragon. At the end of the video, I vowed to plant some snapdragons in my garden and see if I got skulls by last autumn. I'm here to show you what happened. This is what's left of my antirhinum. You can see just a few tiny little skeleton skull heads left on the branches. So, here they are, my jar full of little shrunken heads. They really are absolutely hysterical. Look at the little faces. I feel very, very, very proud that I managed to do it. And if I tip them out, you'll see all the little black seeds hiding behind those eye sockets. And that's what will make the snapdragons next year. As soon as the museum reopens, you'll be able to see my second example of one of nature's little jokes. It's this drawing, which we now know is a laughing bumblebee orchid. It looks like it has little green birds or duck heads, but in fact, if you see images of the real orchids, that's exactly what they look like. So just like the artist who drew the snapdragon seeds, they knew already in the 16th century that this was all part of the beauty, wit, and humor of nature. Enjoy it, and as always, please stay well, stay safe. Thank you.